way. I am continuing to pump out a, well, just one siege tank right now, and I'm finally getting that engineering bay. Where have you been, engineering bay? He's still using the proxy pylon here. I'm gonna keep three zealots just just right outside it. Uh, zealots, I, I, why is he going for zealots? That's that's not very smart if I may say so. Um, because I do have the block off, so the zealots wouldn't be able to do that much damage anyways. Uh, maybe if he wanted to clean up afterwards. Um, like right here? Yeah, here we go. The zealots are playing a big role here. They will be able to take out one marauder. Uh, are they going to get the second one? No, but the stalker does. and But then that stalker dies almost immediately. A uh, sentry and a probe running out of the way. Um, observer is out on the field. I still have no clue really that there is a proxy pylon. I should have assumed it right now because um, you never really want to assume that somebody is rallying troops right outside your base. And I'm going for the expansion. It is really late. I mean, I am fully saturated here. I'm going to call that fully saturated. It's uh, 20 SCVs, but I mean, looking how how few minerals there are left. I don't really want to train any more SCVs at that base. I'm getting up a missile turret here because I did see that observer predator thing there. So I knew that there was an observer in my base, so I tried to get the missile turret up. I can actually see it now, but he can't attack it. I don't know if there's a... Yeah, there's no really, like, sight range listing here. Meanwhile, he is going for the expansion, but there aren't very many harvesters. He's got 26. Don't know where they all are. Uh, there's one down here. Zealot. Zealot. Don't know what's going on. He is warping in more stalkers, as l along with a warp gate, or warp prism, sorry. Uh, very smart. Uh, really, it's a backup. And I... To be honest, I was thinking before this game, you know, I never really see this this back little ledge here used on this map, and it is very important, and I should use it. I tried to send four marines out to take out the observer, but he must have saw it, and he's starting to move away with it. Uh, maybe I was just unlucky. He is able to stay away from those missile turrets. He is keeping an eye on that observer. He does not want it to die. He will be following my mo my harvester transfer so he will be moving immediately in with his stalkers that he has warped in gonna do some massive damage to my SCVs I don't catch it until they're fully in my minerals I'm like what the hell how'd they get there I do have tanks out though and they should be able to do a massive amount of damage along with all these stalker or all these marauders has a lot of marauders so I'm going around and I'm like, wait, where the hell did they come from? And I stimmed. That was that was kind of stupid, if I may say so myself. Here we go. Taking out the proxy pylon, and everything is running away. Um, I didn't follow up um, to to see that there was something there, so I wouldn't have caught that anyways. If he had kept that there, it would have been good for him, I think. But he is able to take a huge lead in the harvester count because of that harassment. However, I have spent so much more on technology. Um, the army count is really... Wow, it's really on my side because I have killed a ton of his units. And once I took out the proxy pile, and I'm like, you know what, I've got to do some harassment. He, he took out so many of my... SCVs that I've got to at least try to get something done so I go and check it the gold expansion because you never know uh, when somebody's going to go for that first or if somebody's going to be uh, expanding really quickly especially a zerg player but of course I'm not playing zerg so I'm moving in and you know basically with what I had left in my base and really there's he has nothing left um, to, to, to help this he does have an immortal out, um, but it is... where is that immortal? It is trapped inside his base because um, because of these stargates. Um, he's had the star... I mean, he's three stargates. Uh, he tried to tech up. Um, he does 
great job with the force fields yet again, but I scan and I go, ah, this game is mine. Um, this is something I haven't talked about before because honestly it never even occurred to me before that after a certain point of the game, scans are more valuable than mules, so, um, and I decided that this was that part of the game, so I went in for the scan instead of the mules. I'm pretty much done with mules right now um, because I do have a lot of minerals and I need the information more, plus I wanted to give my guys sight so they could start doing damage, and so I'm easily able to wipe out what he has left because he felt safe with the observer and the proxy pylon. Once I took the proxy pylon out, um, he was really in the middle of teching up and was unable to produce a unit to counter my counter. Um, really, the game was almost lost for me as I kept on going down this ramp to take out uh, really a uh, relatively small group of units here. Don't don't give up the hide advantage if you don't have to. I was I mean, I, did I need to expand? Probably. It was definitely something I should have been thinking of, but really until I got that siege tank up and in siege mode, I really shouldn't have even attempted to go for anything like that. You know, put one uh, siege tank in siege mode up here and then move one down my army and move it down here. Um, that way it starts doing damage as well. Uh, so that was the game and I am very happy to tell you guys that because of this game right here, this one against Demor, I was promoted to the gold ladder. Yay! I, w I feel happy. Um, I don't think this one was, was too late. I'm actually still kind of nervous about being moved up to the gold ladder, but I seem to be doing okay for, uh, for myself. So I am in the middle. So I guess in, in, in the middle ladder of the five. So, um, you know... Was it diamond at the top, platinum, gold, silver, bronze? I'm in gold, so right in the middle. And um, so, so I guess I, I can stop calling myself a noob now. Yay. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Bye.